Hey Siri, do the thing. What's the text? Summarize the book Good to Great by Jim Collins. Hold up while I check. Good to Great by Jim Collins explores the factors that transform average companies into exceptional. I'm going to show you how to make Siri actually useful by connecting it to ChatGPT so you can use voice commands for all your favorite questions. Now you only need a couple of prerequisites in order to pull this off. First is the Shortcuts app, which you can get in the Apple App Store for both your iPhone and your Mac. Next up, we need to make sure that you've got an OpenAI API key. Now, fortunately, signing up is free and easy. Go ahead and sign in using your Gmail account or a username and password. Once you've done that, navigate over to platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. Now, it might ask you to enter a credit card. This is a pay as you go thing. So by default, OpenAI is gonna give you $5 worth of free credits. That's enough to last you several hundred questions to the OpenAI API. Once you run out of those credits, it's bill as you go. So you can come in here and you can simply look at the usage and see how much you've used on a given day. Now I use this API for a number of different projects, but I still only use about 10 to 20 cents a day on average. Now the key here is gonna be generating and grabbing your API key. You can click here and create create new secret key. This is going to pop up a dialog box where you can name this something. In this case, you could say Siri shortcut and click create secret key. Now copy this down. They always start with SK. This is essentially like a password. Don't show this to anyone. Don't share it with anyone. Mine's going to be deleted right after this video. Once you've copied that, save it someplace so you won't forget it. As soon as you exit out of this dialog box, that key's gone and you'll never be able to see it again, even if you click on edit. At this point, all that's left is getting this set up. Click on the iCloud link that I shared down in the description. That's gonna pop open the shortcut in your Siri shortcut app. And once you open this, it's gonna ask you to configure your API key. This is where you paste in that OpenAI API key from the step before. So be sure to take that and just simply paste it in the box. After that's pasted, click next for the next step. Here you can select the model, GPT-3, GPT-3.5, or GPT-4. By default, we're gonna go with GPT-4 because it provides the best responses possible. If you wanna save a little bit of money or you want faster responses, you can always put in the 3.5 model as well. This is where you can also start to really customize things. Instead of by default it saying, what's up human? You can change by clicking on the speak and you can say, hello, how can I help instead? It's completely customizable and editable by you. You can even change the language and the voice that are used for all the spoken dialogue. Under dictionary, this is using the system message. The system message in ChatGPT is used to control the responses and how they're formatted back to you. Here we let it know that it's an intelligent assistant that's here to help us but I did put that it's a little snarky, so expect some sarcasm in the responses you get back. And you can of course edit this prompt and change it to anything you want so it's specialized and crafted and tailored to you. Click on the next dialog box and instead of one moment, you could say, hold up while I check. Again, each of the speak dialog boxes can be changed for the tone, the language, and even the type of person that's responding back to you. From here, all you have to do is say, hey Siri, do the thing, and it should pop open the box that starts the processing. And the first time you say that, it's gonna ask if you would like do the thing to access speech recognition, simply press allow. When it says what's the text, this is where you can actually speak your question that you'd like to ask ChatGPT. At this point, it's also gonna prompt you for permissions to access the OpenAI API. You're gonna click on allow always. Now ask a question just like you would to ChatGPT, It'll come back in a few seconds with a response. And just like the regular chat GPT, it's gonna keep your conversation in a thread. So you can ask it a question, get a response back, and then refine your question or ask a follow-up up to five times. And it's gonna keep track of all that conversation and respond back to you. Now getting this set up on your phone is super simple. You can even install this on a MacBook or MacBook Pro to the shortcut. Now you may notice that some of the responses from GPT-4 can take quite a while to come back. That's because GPT-4 is a little bit slower at responding than GPT-3.5. If you wanna change that, go into the settings and you can change the model from GPT-4 to GPT-3 or 3.5. 
That's going to make those responses quite a bit faster, but at the expense of some accuracy. GPT-4 is by far the most accurate model, so keep that in mind when you're setting this up. Overall, what a massive productivity boost and a super easy way to get this set up and activated on your phone. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. We'll check you next time.